Ladies and gentlemen, they're coming on the track for today's 10th race. The delivery driven by Ken Holiday. Number two, only choice. Number three is Gold Sweat. Looking on the TV screen, number six is Democratus. And number seven, no muffler. And of course, number four, no place to go. Those are your starters for today's 10th race. Exacto wagering. You have five minutes to post. They're at the post. The gate's rolling for race 10. Here they come. They're off and pacing. No place to go. Grabs the racetrack. Spec D delivery is there toward the inside. Then only choice, followed by cold sweat. I lost my marbles, no muffler up on the outside, and Democritus is last as they race toward the quarter mile mark. No place to go, left quickly, and now has made the top by one length. Spec D delivery goes second by two and a half. Only choice is racing third, cold sweat is fourth. I lost my marbles is fifth, and no muffler is sixth. Democritus is seventh. 27 and 3 was the time for the opening quarter. No place to go, leads them onto the back stretch by a length and a half. Spec D delivery goes second by three. Only choice is racing third by a length and a half. Then Cold Sweat, who is fourth. I lost my marbles is fifth. No muffler is sixth. Democritus is seventh. They're well bunched single file. Although no muffler comes off the rail from the back of the pack. And Democritus moves up with cover behind him. No place to go. Leads them past the half. They were there in 57 and 1. Spec D delivery is second on the inside of Only Choice, who moves toward the outside from third. No muffler, moves up with cover behind him and fourth, around the outside of Cold Sweat, who's tucked away toward the rail. Democritus is next on the outside. I lost my marbles is suddenly last, six lengths off the lead. At the three quarters, no place to go, leads it by one length. Only choice is second, a neck. Spec D delivery is locked in toward the rail in third, three quarters, 126 and four. No place to go, leads it by one, top of the stretch. Spec D delivery, needs room on the inside, now regains the second spot. Only choice is there, on the outside in third, followed by Democritus, who's very wide in the center of the racetrack. Final eighth mile, no place to go, leads only choice by one length. Spec D delivery is third. Only choice is erratic with his move in the stretch. A late charge from Cold Sweat, Cold Sweat, Cold Sweat. Appeared to get it by a head. That's a three-way photo for the win. Either cold sweat, only choice, or no place to go. 154 and 2. Still waiting for result of the photo. Cold sweat appeared to get there in the closing stride by a head. He is moving into the winner's circle, owned by Hunt Harness Horses Incorporated of Big Rock, Vernon Shire Racing Stable of Skokie, R&D Samson Stable, and Penske Stable of Downers Grove, bred by Cottonwood Farm. And result of the photo shows that he did finish first. Two-year-old gelding by Cole Muffler. Cole Muffler's second winner on the day. In the photo, the four, no place to go, was second. The two only choice, third. The one spec D delivery, fourth. Brian, Wild, and Harry looking kind of stretch drive. Tell about that last eighth mile. I didn't really think there was going to be any room to get loose anywhere, and uh, just at the about halfway down the stretch, there looked like a little bit of an opening, so he shot through it and had a lot of pace. An odds-on favorite gets beat in the other elimination, then you come back, and a 10-to-1 outsider that you train gets up. This can be kind of a crazy business, can't it? That's why we get to gamble on him. <laughs> That's exactly right. Congratulations. That's Brian Pinsky, the winning driver. And it is official for the 10th race. The rundown is up next. By the way, it was not, not a good day for post-time betting favorites of the 10 races today. Only two, only two were won by the post-time favorites.